My name is Stephen Priest, and I'm a third year environmental sciences student. Um, so yeah, in my final year and just not ready to leave Cornwall yet. I'm Ellen Groom and I'm a second year psychology student. I am a hip hop dancer and I choreograph for the Hip Hop Dance Society at our university. I uh, founded last year in my first year the Student Union Swing Dance Society. I want to make a big change and I want to be the voice that students can like come to and talk to whenever they need anything. Even as a student ambassador, when I go out to colleges and schools and teach them a little thing about university and student finance and so forth, I feel even through those sort of jobs, I'm contributing back to the university just to, as a way of thank you. I think there's a lot of stuff I think needs to change. And I think if there was ever a time to change things, I think it will be the year as we start to move out of COVID. I think that's when people are talking about moving kind of back to normal. And I think we need to make sure that improves, particularly um, in terms of mental health. I'm a very approachable character. Lots of my friends like come to me for lots of different things and lots of different reasons for support. Once I put my mindset to something, I don't stop. Like. I will keep going. I listen, which I think in these kind of sort of leadership roles is so underrated. I've learned from being a rep that when you listen to students, you listen to their feedback, you then get more feedback because people feel listened to. One of my biggest points is to defend your academic progress for as long as the COVID-19 pandemic continues. And I think last year, the no detriment policy was a great addition to make us feel secure in um, our academic situation then. If we can't expect lecturers to, you know, mark us easily or so forth or give us that protection, then under the same token, they can't expect us to work to that same ability as any other normal circumstances. I think protecting students' academic progress is definitely important, but... I think right now the key thing is students' mental health. We've got a wellbeing app. We get emails every week from the uni saying, here's all the kind of mental health resources. Um, but it, I think it needs to start earlier than that. It needs to start with the actual course content itself and making sure that that's okay. Students aren't being asked to do too much. One of the things that I was also going to promote was looking at introducing a, um, a food waste system, even if it's done on a small scale. So that's my plan at the moment is just to do on a small scale, whether it's just at the university itself. You know, we're collecting food waste and we're creating a more circular economy. It might send a message to like the council as a whole to realise like, oh, OK, you know, the university is doing it. We can do it in our county. And the other thing I was looking at um, because I think this is a really, really important one as well, is um, introducing or working with the FX Blast to introduce some refresher events. I think when you come to university, that is one of the biggest things that gets you to settle into university the best as possible, to make them new connections. Some of the main things I want to achieve include making mitigation and ILPs easier um, to make everything a bit more accessible. Um, so make it smoother to get an ILP um, and extend that one week um, no evidence mitigation policy into a post-COVID world. Um, and I also want to increase opportunities available. I think there's a lot of um, unpaid internships out there that you can do over summer. And for a lot of us, that just isn't um, a realistic option. We need to work over summer. That's how we feed ourselves while we're at uni. Uh, so I think working with the uni to make more funded opportunities. I'm just going to make myself as accessible and as available as often. I like to think that I'm quite a, an approachable character. I don't want to, anyone to feel nervous to come talk to me about anything at all. It just means the world to me, like to know that I could like be changing someone's life, even if it's in a small way, like it's just a, nice to know that you're making a difference to someone's 
academic journey? If I'm elected, I will arrange regular drop-in sessions um, where I will just be available on Teams. We get a lot of surveys sent out. I don't know how many people really do them. Um, so I think that one-to-one -one interaction and things that maybe I think not everything gets passed through the rep system quite as smoothly as it could. So allowing every student to contact the Students' Union.